Well, um, I'm grateful to see the media, my brothers and sisters. I should say without you guys, we cannot be, we cannot be here. You guys have made our names great. We are here because of you. I'm grateful to the media. Well, my press briefing today is very brief. I just want to take this moment uh, to apologize to the nation, to the fathers of faith, to my children that I've raised in ministry, colleagues that I've worked with. I really want to render an apology. Um, looking at how I've moved and how I've worked and how I've uh, walked in this journey. Yeah. So as you have heard, my name is Akins Mumbi Upe. Uh, I'm a Zambian. My father is Bemba uh, from Luapula, and my mother is uh, Bemba from Monsombo Luingu. So I'm a pure, pure Zambian. Yeah, there is no uh, anything in me that is uh, Congolese, as people say. Yeah, so I'm grateful. Um, to start with, my apology today is out of conviction. Nobody has pushed me to do this, um, but I've been, you know, counseled, advised, and um, they say, show me a great man and I'll show you a guided man. Friends, I can simply say I've been guided, especially through this period, and I want to thank you, my bishops, my fathers of uh, in, in in Christ, the board of Christ that has been praying for me. There is no way someone can come to realization if if nobody has been praying for them. It is because of the prayers of, of our fathers, my Christian brothers, and everyone that I know who mean well to uh, to me, uh, and also my family. Thank you for such prayers, for those prayers that you have offered for me, that has brought me to this realization. Friends, you know how I've worked, um, uh, especially two years ago. Um, um, I, I took sides, to go straight in the point, I took sides in the campaigns, um, which is, um, for me, uh, up to now, I have fought with my conscience, I have fought with my... Uh, my people and the people that love me, especially the Zambian people that love me a lot, who actually showed me that kings, we trusted you, we believed in you, and this is what you have done to for us. There is no way you, you can show sides. You, you are a public figure, and as a public figure, number one, I'm very sorry for taking sides, especially during campaigns. And this I apologize to my Zambian people, my fans, pastors, my mothers, and everyone that believes in my calling, believes in my music. I really apologize. Those who are here, those who are abroad, please take this uh, to your heart. And uh, find it in your heart to forgive me. It will never happen again. I will not walk carelessly like that. I've learned politicians come and go, and our gifts remain, and you remain our supporters. I will not take sides, not again, in my life. And thank you so much for such prayers. Number two, um, again to the Board of Christ, to my fathers, um, eight years ago, if not ten years ago, Bishop Emakando called me and gave me counsel. It's where a bishop is calling you. Uh, some 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 bishops can't even find time to call a musician. And, but Bishop Emakando called me. We spoke over 20 minutes, if not 40, just giving me guidance. But Malembia Pamuafika. I don't want you to move this way. 
He counseled me over politics. He counseled me over a lot of things. And uh, friends, I felt like I've let down my father. Um, I didn't take that counsel. And if I, I took that counsel wisely, I think that I should be Yes, I've got invitations. My calendar is full up to December. But my heart knows that this is when this is where not this is where I'm not supposed to be. I'm supposed to be somewhere else. If I had to take that counsel seriously. Uh, I'm rendering this apology to my father, whom I met yesterday. I was very glad to meet him yesterday. We prayed together, he prayed for me. And he told me, Sonny, bread of life is your home. Gates are open for you. The smiles he gave me, gave me strength, even to come today and speak to the nation. I met my pastor, Pastor Chiluba, three days ago. The smiles he gave me with with Mama Chiluba. Wow. Those smiles were a strength to me, even to come out and apologize to the nation. Thank you so much, my Bishop Emakando. And the bishops that really took part in, in counseling me, Bishop Billy Fuller, Bishop Tim Michael. I can mention, I think I've, I've, I've listed, then uh, Bishop Ngambi, Bishop Sandes Nyangwe, Apostle Kobe, Bishop Haggai, a lot of friends, Apostle Abraham. I'm really grateful to you for taking time to counsel me and uh, and uh, and impress me. It has been a difficult moment, but these people opened up their churches. Despite I was looking that dirty kada, they have been opening their churches. Fathers in the, in, the, in the Catholic Church, UCZ, RCZ, I've got appointments almost everywhere. I am grateful to you. And thank you. Thank you so much. Please, Bishop Makando, thank you for forgiving me and for praying with me yesterday. Publicly, I render this apology to you again. Please forgive me. It will never happen again. Coming to... Um, to a father that I I spoke um, ill against, I think during the time of campaign. Um, friends, I've learned in life that instructions are better than speed. Instructions are better than speed. When you get instructions, I think you know to ask one. And. Um, there is a man who is not a Zambian, a prophet who is not a Zambian, and this is uh, no other than Prophet Ngila. During the time of campaigns, friends, um, I spoke ill against this man. And I've realized that there is no way, as a young man, I can stand tall and speak and start rebuking the elders of faith the fathers of faith, in public. Nothing gives me that right to, you know, even insult or rebuke the man of God that has really um, saved God, who has led a lot of people to Christ, and as a young man, I stand and start rebuking him in public. No matter the mistakes, I have no moral right to rebuke elderly people in public. I don't want to set that precedence. May the man of God, wherever he is, forgive me. It will never happen again. I have learned that there is no way I can be insulting elderly people. You see, today if I see the young men who are insulting elders on social media, I fail to comment because I've been a culprit. No matter the mistake. Yes, I may have my own beliefs or understanding over the issues that have transpired on his life. 
but I have no moral right to correct the elders in public or, or you know, rebuke elders in public, especially elders, fathers of faith. It will never happen. I have learned. This is my apology to him. Please, where, wherever he is, those who are listening, his people, convey this message. I am very sorry. I apologize even to people that follow him. On my behalf, may he apologize for me. It will never happen again as a Christian to do that. Um, number three, is it number four? To my own sons and colleagues that I have, I have mentored in ministry, we are talking about Papa Bruno, Christine, Collins, Fidimo, um, Francis. These guys have suffered shame because of my work, the way I've worked in ministry. They have suffered shame. In some places, they have even removed their names because they are they are affiliated to me. Friends, starting from today, um, I'm going to watch my steps. I want you to find it in your heart, my, my, my sons and colleagues. Find it in your heart to forgive me. I've caused you shame. You haven't walked, you know, with your heads up. Sometimes you even think of just, you know, distancing yourself from me. Not to be, you know, not to associate yourself with me. You feel ashamed because of that. Find it in your heart today to forgive me. You guys have been my inspiration. That has made me to come and apologize to the nation today. I see how you have been humiliated in public. Please have mercy and uh, forgive me. I want you to work for God freely. And to my sponsors, most of them that pulled out the SCK logistics, the people that love me, the people that have put money, who have put my name there. You know, uh, most of my concerts were sponsored by Zamtel. All, all, the, all the, the, the concerts. Please, my sponsors, find it in your heart from today. I will not take sides. In politics, I will not take sides. I am grateful, and to my family that have been praying for me, my wife, uh, who has been really my counselor. Uh, when nobody is there, she will sit you down. She will sit me down, and rebuke me and correct me. Um, Mavis, thank you so much for the love and the family. My family, thank you so. And those who have been insulting me, you guys, those insults have caused me to do this today. I am grateful for every encouragement, prayers. Really, I'm grateful. This is, this is my speech and this is my, my apology. It is coming from my heart. You know I'm a strong man. I, I, I don't bend easily. But when I come to a place like this, I've taken counsel. Friends, I'm not doing this that I am broke. No, this is coming from the conviction as a believer. I know how a believer should move. I know. And so I am really sorry to the nation, to my family, to my people. I'm really, it will never happen. Thank you so much. Okay. At this particular moment, mm. we invite questions. And uh, we will restrict it to four questions due to time limitation mm -hmm. and one question per time. We'll start with uh, you, CBC, and uh, the soccer music, then Mr. Mainga. Uh, thanks so very much. Uh, I'll consider my name from CBC. Mm -hmm. I just want to draw your attention, if I, the, focus on, the focus on my, 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 my question is, is based on the the the, 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 the contract that you, you I mean the sponsorship that you, you uh, lost. In terms of monetary but how much have you lost in terms of um, sponsorship? Okay. Uh you see when I had a concert 
in um, Woodland Stadium, which we filled up a few years ago. We had a budget of over 500,000. And this money came through without sweating. Sponsors brought this money. SCK Logistics brought this money. And Zamtel gave me sponsorship. Friends, that money is no more. <laughs> no more. So I think I've lost a lot. Because if, if I didn't take sides, I know our democracy is too fragile. People don't respect opinions in our land. We pray that we grow one day to a place where opinions are respected. And so because we, are, we haven't grown and we are too fragile as a country, and so we are obliged to live according to how people are viewing politics. And so I've lost a lot. I can't estimate, obviously, because I haven't made a lot of big functions of late. And so I think I've lost it. I've lost that. Thank you. Yeah. My name is Francis from uh, Saka Radio. Mm -hmm. Saka Radio. Yes, I'm okay. going That was CBC, okay. okay. Uh, with that said, uh, you apologize. Mm. Are you telling us now, if, uh, probably it's a time that uh, uh, politicians mm. uh, stop using musicians, hiring musicians as uh, crowd pullers? Mm. Uh, you are also considered as one uh, such person who is a crowd puller. Mm. And during campaigns, the politicians want to use musicians mm. in order to attract uh, mm. audiences. Mm. Secondly, um, you apologize, rendering this apology, I'm trying to understand what exactly, what offense did you commit by associating yourself with the previous regime? Well, um, musicians are not used by politicians. Musicians are institutions also, they are in business also, politicians go to them to ask for services and um, they don't go there for free, they are paid to do that and I think if we see, if we view that musicians are siding or they have been used, I think for me it's a misconception. These are the people that are, have got offices and they have paraded themselves, offered themselves to be hired. You know, if it's the government of the day, as musicians, we, we work with the government of the day. And if they are paid to go and, and give a service, friends, let's take it as business. I don't see that as a use and that's why today i'm apologizing because i think i i i went beyond the paid and you saw me company i went with my truck company and that because of make you know taking sides that's why i'm apologizing and that's the mistake i think i have committed and i have made as a public figure we can give services but not a side. So is what you are a card? If you say so. No, no, no. I'm trying to understand. Yes, I was because a card is someone who supports a certain club. A certain, so I was a card or patriot front. Yes. I think is what I've explained. Aside making nowhere. Instead of just giving a service, you go and sing. And. Uh, Later on, I went into campaign. I campaigned for the the, cho the 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 candidate of my choice. You know that aside, the choice is not a mistake I made. No, that should be very clear. The mistake is making sides, taking sides, and I think as a public figure, I wouldn't encourage anybody to take sides. But to go and give a service, I think we have to, because this is our job. Thank you. Okay, Mr. Mm. Um, from your explanation, it's clear that you learned a lesson. Yes, sir. And uh, what lesson are you giving to other person based on your experience? Well, we lose a lot if we take sides. We lose a lot because I have learned that politicians come and go. 
and our gifts, our talents remain. And therefore, I think we should spend time to invest in our gifts. And when we are hired, we go and give a service. Yeah, so the issue of criminalizing an artist when he's hired, I think a nation has to grow because we are just people that have got, you know, offices. And when we are hired to go and give or sing a song, we are paid to do that. But taking sides, I think I wouldn't like anyone to take sides. Yeah. Uh, that's the question will come from... Um, just, 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 uh, good. No, come on, let's, let's follow up. Mm. How much did you make from the... the Personal relation, even before he came, is a man who would say, before I go on stage, please, I want you to hear that song. And I used to be paid, not less than obviously 15,000 or 20,000, but in every appearance, I would be paid to see. I remember the last the last um, ca campaign, virtual campaign, where the president was not there. I, I think they were they were supposed to pay us about 20,000 plus. I said no, because I knew my slot. God called me to see to the heart of the president, and that was my slot. When the president is not there, my slot is not there. I remember uh, Honorable Emmanuel Mwamba, you know, calling me to say, he is the man, you are the one going on stage. I, I told him I can't go on stage. My slot is not here. I am called to sing to the heart of the president, not any other. And so I knew my... And if that offended others, I've told them, please forgive me. Yeah, I still respect my friendship. And there's no way I can I can insult my past, no. Uh, and last one, sorry. At PF1, why are you going to render this apology? If PF1, if PF1, am I going to render? You know, the realization comes in a seasons like this. I'm sure it could have been very difficult for me to realize this, you know? It could have been very difficult. And frankly speaking, I don't know if, you have, if I could have apologized. But because I was getting, even before we went to elections, even before we went to elections, you find that the, the head for the, the regime then was too direct on me, churches, you know, gave me the back, and I knew where we were heading to. And you saw me advising, and I was we were heading to. But because of loyalty and the personal relationship I have, I had with uh, the president, and I saw. Her. I think I had to say, Bane, that's, I think that's what loyalty calls. But when he has given us, when he handed over instruments of power to someone, he was telling us to say, I'm no longer your president. Here is your president. We have been given a new president, and therefore we are bound to support the government of the day. Thank you. Okay. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, mm. we would like to come to the last remarks. Last remarks. Okay. My last remarks are that um, uh, media. Thank you so much. You guys, if <laughs> look the way you have responded, please respond to any artist like this. Let's grow our artists. Not to level you is better than this one. Let's promote all the artists. Number two, I am grateful to the nation for showing me how much they love me by giving me that side of head. I am grateful because they have made me realize that you see like bishop Makando told me to say kings i deleted all the songs this is how much it pained me you know even then even the number i don't have it this is how much it pained me that we have lost our son and seeing you coming back like this it has made it i wish i was in church this sunday i could have been with you bishops called me a lot of fathers called me and I'm grateful to my, uh, my bishop, um, our church, um, Pastor Chiluba, for prayers, and for the nation, and those who are abroad. And uh, for what is coming, uh, our concert fill up. I didn't hear anybody ask uh, that question. People are saying, is it a competition? Are you competing with your maps? No, it's not. It's not a competition. 
uh, our young Yomaps has just inspired our faith to do more, especially for God. When I saw a stadium packed like that, my heart was saying, I wish this is for gospel. And so the young man has inspired our faith. Somebody is saying, how can you be inspired by a secular artist? God can use anybody to speak. He used a donk to speak to Balaam. He can use anybody to speak to our faith. And I think our hero stadium, and I pray that um, um, the government, through the Minstrel Sports, they give us a date so that we can promote also gospel in the stadium. I'll be applying for a date, and I'm praying it's October. And um, it will be specifically for gospel, and it's, as I've said, it's no longer politics. Maybe someone would ask me to say, are you not going to be commenting on politics again? <laughs> you understand? My, 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 my response is that anything that divides us, anything that divides the nation, will comment about that. I saw, you know, I heard a speech from the president in Rwanda when he was talking about genocide. He was saying it was a, it was a human failure. Because signs were seen and people did not intervene. And so even in our nation, when we see signs of division, friends, we are bound, media, you are bound to point out such mistakes so that we don't go through what other friends have gone through. And so comments will only be made where the signs of division are cited. And, but concerning all these things, friends, forget I will not be commenting just on any other things, but only on that which divides us. You know things that divide us.